everyone, this is Miss Jenny and Mister, and we're here again this week to read you another story. It's called The World God Made, the Creation Story, and it's out of the Bible, Genesis 1 through 2. Once there was no world, no people, no animals, including puppy dogs. Oh no! There were no hills or trees, no sky, no sun. There was nothing at all. It was just very, very dark. God said, I'll make a world. And so God made the world. And the world was made a long, long time ago. And there's the world God made. And then God said, let there be light. And there was light, and God called the light day, and he called the dark night, and he said it was good. There's the dark, which is nighttime, and there's the light, which is daytime. I'm glad he made day and night. I don't know about you. Then God said, I'll make the skies, and God made the sky. He made them blue, and he put white clouds in them to hold the rain. And then he made the seas and lakes and rivers and dry land. And he said, this was good. So there's the dry land. There's the rivers. And there's the sky with the clouds in them. I think the sky's pretty. Then God began to make things that grow on the earth. He made things like grass and trees and flowers, and he made things in all different sizes and color. He made them in green and yellow and blue, and he made some of the plants even grow food, like fruits and vegetables, like the apples and bananas and strawberries. And he said it was good. And there's the trees and the flowers. Then God said, let there be lights to shine in the sky. God made the sun, and then he made the moon and the stars, and he put them in the sky so that the sun would shine during the day and the moon and the stars at night, and he said it was good. So there's our sun during the daytime, and there's the moon and the stars at night. Then God said, let there be birds to fly in the sky, and let there be fish to swim in the seas and the lakes. And God made whales and every animal that lives in the water. So there's the, all the different types of birds that fly. And look at all the different colors and shapes and sizes they are. And then he made all the creatures that live in the water, like the whales and the octopus and the fishes. And again, they all look so different and unique. And he makes them all different sizes and colors. It's just amazing. Then God said, let there be animals on the earth. Yay! Here comes Mr. And they said, let there be ones that hop and jump and walk and crawl and let them multiply and have lots of babies. And he said this was good. So there's all the different like animals that he started creating along with little puppy dogs. Now the world was ready for people. That's you and me. And God said, I'll make a man. I'll make him like myself. I'll have him rule over the earth. So God made the first man. God used clay from the ground and he breathed life into him and he called him Adam. And God made man to look a little bit like himself. And you told him, you will rule over the earth and everything that walks or crawls, swims or flies. Then God planted a garden. It was a very pretty garden. And God planted grass and trees and flowers in it. And he gave the garden to Adam. It was Adam's home. And he was to look after it. And then God took all the animals to Adam. And he said, give each one a name. So Adam began to name the animals. Wow, wouldn't that be a great job? So there's Adam, and he was created by God out of the ground, and the breath of life was put into him. 
and then he was put into a garden to be his home where everything he needed was there, and then he was to name all the animals. And God had made a little animal that had a house on its back, and Adam called it a turtle. And then God made a very tall animal with a long neck, and he named it a giraffe. So there's the turtle, and there's the giraffe, and there's Adam naming the animals. God had made an animal with long ears and a little round tail that liked to hop, and Adam named it a rabbit. And then God made a big animal with a long trunk, and Adam named it an elephant. So there's the rabbits and the elephants. And Adam named the frog and the fox and the horse and the bear. He named every animal that God had made, including puppy dogs. So there are the fox and the zebra and the bear. All the animals came in two, but Adam was all alone. Oh no, there were no other people. Oh, poor Adam. God said, this is not good for man to be alone. So God made a lady. He brought her to Adam. Adam named the lady Eve. So God knew that Adam shouldn't be by himself. So he made a companion. And he made a girl named Eve so that they could be together. God made Adam and Eve to live together. That's why people get married and have families. God blessed Adam and Eve and said, Have children and grandchildren. Let people fill the earth and rule it. So God's telling them, just like the animals, that they should have families and have babies and fill the earth with people like it is today. In six days, God made the whole world. On the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God saw all the things he had made and God said, this is very good. Now boys and girls, I want you to go outside and look at all of God's creation and think about how wonderfully and uniquely he made it, just like he makes you and me. We're all special to God and we should thank him for all the things that he gave us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Till next time. See ya.